Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Now before we get started here, I just want to address that, that if you are a little bit confused on why you're seeing Farming Simulator on this channel and not on my second channel, where I originally announced that I would be doing it, that is because I've moved Farming Simulator to this channel. So from now on, the Farming Simulator lives here on Binary Vigilante. Um, and my second channel is mainly going to be for games like Call of Duty and stuff like that. So. With that out of the way, we are now in October and I can see that we have a forecast that says rain, it looks like. Yeah, about one or two o'clock here, we will get some rain, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Now, we have a lot of jobs to do today because if I go in here in the calendar, as you can see, oilseed radish, we are on the final month where we can plant the oilseed radish and I want oilseed radish in as many fields as possible. So we are gonna get Yeah, we, we need to actually get this tractor going with the plow ASAP with a worker. So uh, We have the plow on now. Let me see what I don't remember which which fields have actually been plowed and which have not So let's take a quick look here. Okay, so 45 needs plowing and 47 also needs plowing. So yeah, let's just get this tractor started right here with a worker right off the bat. Then we will check the used machinery market because you never know if we see something that we need. And I am gonna then set it off on a worker. There we go. Nice. All right, let us take a look in the shop in the used machinery. What do we have? Oh. All right, what do we have here? We have a wagon slurry tank. Oh, would you look at that? A potato house. <laughs> uh, right. And we also have, wait, is that? That's not a potato house. Hold on, what is this? I don't actually know what this is. It's some sort of house, though, but I, I don't know. Hmm. Don't actually, don't actually know what this thing is. But we have a tractor, a used tractor here. The McCormick at 88, we basically get it for 60% off, which is, would be a great deal. It is a great deal, but for us, not so much because, well, yeah, we, um, yeah, we, we don't have that kind of money to spend. We only have 88,000 and we have a few things that we need to buy. Another thing that we will be doing today is the cornfield should be ready for harvest. We plowed this field in the last episode, so we can actually get seeding with that as well. Yes, the corn is ready to harvest, so we will be getting to that right away. So, oh, I'm getting stuck in the tree. That's fun. No time for that. Uh, we need to get into corn headers, and I need to lease one. That is just small. This is better. Um, yeah, I, I think we just have to... Take one of these, these for 2,700, yes. Now this also means, I may have to stop my tractor at some point, but this means that we may need to empty the trailer with potatoes because it is not yet time to be selling potatoes. We're in October, the price is going up, but ideally we would want to sell them in December, January or February. So let's get into the harvester here. Let us take off the header. I'm not sure where we're gonna place this. Um, uh, yeah, where, where do we have room on the farm? Let's put it over here. This seems like a good place to put it, actually. There we go. All right, let's head on over to the store. The tractor is working the plow, which is excellent. Do we even have a cedar? Wait a minute, we don't even have we don't even have a cedar for the oil seed radish. We need that as well. Alrighty then. Uh, we will sort that as soon as the tractor is done plowing. Alright, here we are. Beautiful. Our header, which we have leased, which we shall use to harvest corn. Let's attach it and head on back to the farm. I get those working beacons on. I just remembered as well, we actually did manage to plow this field as well. So we are actually doing pretty good when it comes to time. We just need to be able to sow it as well. 
which I do need to take a look at as cedar, what cedar we should be using, and I believe there was something else as well. Oh yeah, price for corn. So let's turn off the engine real quick while we do this. Uh, so corn, 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 corn. There we go. Um, so we're in October. Yeah, again, January, February would be ideal. Um, so cedar. I just want to. I just want to take a look because we have cedars, but I also know there's something else we can use. So cedar. Uh, hmm. Well, we can't certainly can't have that. And uh, yet, this is pretty much our only option when it comes to cedar. It can seed oilseed radish, which is beautiful. It can also seed a bunch of other stuff, which will be useful. Three meters working width, uh, pretty good, and also the cheapest one that we can get. But I do know that we can seed using something else if I can find it, and that is in the weeders category. Um, because I do, yep, this one. This one can can uh, seed grass, oilseed radish, and I believe this is canola. Yep, and this is basically half the price, and we will want a weeder as well. So for basically just eight thousand more, we would be able to sow these things, but we wouldn't be able to sow anything else basically. So yeah, that cedar for thirty-three thousand is probably gonna be the best thing for us to go for and the thing that would make most sense is just to buy it outright because yeah we're not gonna get the money to buy anything more expensive anytime soon unless something comes up on the used machinery market but here we go let us harvest the corn Our first corn harvest. Here we go. Very, very good. So what I'll do here is I will go back and forth here a little bit so it's easier to turn around. And then I'll start going up and down until this is done. Considering we've only done one path so far and we're already 20% full. Yeah, we definitely will be needing our trailer and we just can't afford to buy a second trailer just to keep the crop in. So I will have to unload the potatoes on the grass field which not really happy about doing but yeah that is just how it is but let's go up at least once here while the tractor finishes the plowing which it should be done with fairly soon by the time we're full it should probably be done with the plowing hopefully so let's go up it's filling up quite fast actually i mean to be fair this combine is not very big <laughs> when it comes to capacity so that's that but still for us that's a good sign All right, the worker is done with the plow. Perfect timing. It did a very, very good job. I shall place the plow somewhere over here because we will be needing it. Um, I am just thinking what the best thing to do is because I feel like having the potatoes in the grass for a certain amount of time isn't really realistic. <laughs> 
So I am considering something else. I also just remembered as well that if the potatoes are left out in the light, they can actually go go green, which is a little bit poisonous. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna have to lease this painfully. And I'm gonna have to go get it. And we will just have to sell the corn uh, that we get because we, did, we just don't have the storage for it. We unfortunately do not have a silo, otherwise we could have put it in there. Uh, but we don't have a silo, so we can't, so we kind of just have to sell it. And the potatoes will just have to stay in the barn, where it's dark, in the trailer, until we can sell them. So I'm going to race down to the store real quick, get that lease trailer, and hopefully we will make more than 33 hundred dollars back. I will, annoyingly enough, have to come back here again for seeds. Which, actually, considering it, I might be able to bring back the cedar as well. So we, we might as well buy it now, because we will be needing it. Uh, cedar, this thing right here, same working with... Yeah, this thing has a thousand liters more, but that is also way more pricey. We don't have that kind of money to spend. And I think... How much would it be to lease it? Hmm. Yep, yeah, buying it because we won't we won't have the money to... Yeah, get a new one. I don't think anytime soon, so... We'll just have to buy it. Boom. Now, of course, I... With that, I also need to buy some seeds right here. I how much is per a thousand liter per bag? Um, hmm. I'm only gonna use the money that I need to use. So that's gonna be that. And I think I should be able to pick it up with the front. Maybe I could be completely wrong. Could be very wrong. Nope, I am not. Haha. -ha. All right, fill it up. Close the cover. All right, there's 200 liters more left in that bag. We will come back for it. I also, it's getting to the point where we will probably need to put a front loader on this tractor as well, because we will need to start moving bags and whatnot around. So yeah, I'll probably have to get a front loader sometime soon. One thing I can say though is that this tractor is way faster than the combine, which is extremely, extremely nice. So I'm gonna put this trailer over by the combine. Oh yeah, that's one thing as well. Because this is corn, I believe we can mulch um, the cover. There we go. Sweet. Leave that there. We can mulch uh, this field, which should give us a little bit percentage of bonus in our next harvest. Alright. So, what is really important now is that I choose... <laughs> is that I choose the correct seed, and that should be oil seed radish right there. And... Worker, off you go! Oil seed radish is now growing in our field. Very, very cool. We shall, on the other hand, continue with the harvest. Put out the ogre and we shall empty the harvester and we can continue finishing off this field. Now... How close can I get to this trailer without hitting it? There we go. Perfect. Now this trailer is only eight, uh, 8,000 liters of capacity. We had 4,000, I believe, 600 liters in here in the, uh, in the harvester. And I don't think we're halfway through the field, so we might have to drive twice with this trailer, but that's fine. There we go. And, oh boy. Now we need to find a way of turning around, which is a little bit difficult when you don't have any working side mirrors. Oh, that's three. But we made it. All right, I'm going to finish harvesting this cornfield, and I'll see you when we're done.
All right, we are pretty much done. I just need that little piece down here and that piece that I missed. The combine was really having is really having some trouble with this. I assume it's the header because it's bigger than what the actual combine can can really pull. Uh, but I guess because it's going uphill over there, it's having a little bit of issue up there. But eh, it's fine. It's handling it fine. I think I missed even more pieces though. And I think that results to 10,000 liters of corn. Not too bad at all, actually. That's really good. So since we're actually done, I might as well go ahead and return the corn header. Uh, return right away. And I don't have to carry that around with me. So let's return the harvester up here to the farm and see how long the seeding process is and I think that is actually the final pass the tracker needs oh wait nope the second final pass I think the tracker has to do before it's done uh, maybe the third last <laughs> I will place the harvester right over here with the ogre out boom turn off the engine Nice. I could technically keep the... Hmm. Now that I think about it, I could keep the... You know what? Let's do that. Let us do that, actually. Let's, uh... I might as well keep the corn in here. Because... Yeah. Why not? Right? We'll sell what we have to sell. But we'll keep what we have in here until the price is better. So there we go, that is the combine harvester done for today. Now while we're waiting for this, I can take a look at leasing a mulcher. Because I believe it will add like 5% to our field if we use a mulcher. So not too bad. We obviously need something that we can run. How? I don't remember our tractor again. 125 horsepower, okay. So, yeah, we can, we, we could probably do something like this, but uh, how much is the price difference? Lease, 484. Lease, 357. So, $100 difference. So, $100 for a meter, well, 0 0.8 meters extra. <laughs> I'll go with the cheaper option. 2.2 2 .2 meters should be fine. I'll go ahead and lease that. Boom, and the final pass. I just need to wait for this to finish. And then we can mulch the field. Basically, what happens when we mulch the field is it chops up the remaining stubble. Stubble, is that the word? Basically, these remaining right here and basically leaves it on the ground to basically compost. And it does a lot of good for the ground. So, yeah, it's easy to do. And it improves the yield. So we are going to do just that. And here is our delicious corn, which we will be selling. And the AI is done. Or the worker, I should say. It has not used a lot of seed. It used 6% of the seed. Wow. Okay, I will leave this here. And we will go ahead and fetch the mulcher and we will mulch that field well hmm we we should be able to pull everything off not in this episode but in this day it's only midday and we should be able to pull everything off before we move into november so yeah we're gonna stay in october for two episodes most likely we'll stay in the daytime though we should be fine all right here is the mulcher and our bag of 200 seed, 200 liters of seed, which we also need to pick up eventually. But I'm sure the store won't mind just having it in the parking space. Um, hmm. Well, when I put it that way, they probably do mind us having it there, but it, it's fine. I do realize now with the 2.2 meter working width that this might take a little while. We could really, really use two tractors on the farm. Because right now I need to take the corn over and sell it. But 
I also need to mulch and seed. Having two tractors would be very beneficial, but we just don't have the money to fund that at the moment. But I'm very curious though, I'm very curious at how much we will get for the corn, but I don't think I'll sell it just now. We will sell it before we call it an episode. But here we go, mulching. I have never mulched before, if I'm assuming later. So that's a, that's a tree, okay. So how do we work this thing? Doesn't look like I need to unfold, I just need to lower it and get to work. And as you can see, we are mulching. I need to line this up properly. <laughs> we are doing it at a very decent speed though, which is really good. It's gonna be difficult to see where I've been and where I haven't been. I wonder if it's see a like if I wonder if we can see it on the map. Nope. Doesn't look like it. So this job, it's gonna take a little while, but it will be worth it in the long run. Uh I need to figure out how to align this. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long at all. All right, I have to admit I regretted that I <laughs> I regret I have to admit I regret I started this specific task when I was less than halfway through with it, but It's fine. We have tried it. Uh, it is good to do it, but well first off the rain kicked in Which is fine. I have nothing against the rain. I actually love the ambience in this game when it comes to rain, but Yeah, it's just taking a lot longer that I realized. And not only that, because we are planting oil seed seeding, we're sowing oil seed radish, which, because we're doing that, I am not sure if this actually has any effect on our next harvest. I guess it will, because we don't harvest oil seed radish, we cultivate oil seed radish in to the ground, so I guess the 5% would still be there. I hope so. I hope we haven't done this for nothing. But regardless, it wasn't uh, expensive to, to lease, so that is totally fine. Also, I know that I'm missing spots, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're almost done, I just need a few final pieces, and that is why I also... Uh, I reduced the time, because I wanted to experience the rain uh, while it was still here, because I think it might be going away at 2 p.m. Which in that case I wanted to experience it with you guys because I love rain. Also our tractor really needs a repair job. I will be doing that as the next thing. In fact I think I'll put the mulcher on front, the trailer on the back, I'll drive over to the shop, return the mulcher, repair the tractor and then we will go ahead and sell the corn because yeah our tractor is um, Current state is not good. All right, I'm gonna call that a mulching job complete. <laughs> yes, there are a few bits and pieces here and there. I'll take the ones that I actually drive past. But other than that, I'm gonna call this a job well done. Hopefully it was worth it. Okay, I'm gonna lower it, detach it, and attach it to the front. I could just return it, but I realize the more realistic thing would be to drive over to the place where we got it to return it. So I will try and do that in the future. I want to try and do it as realistic as possible. 
So like the potatoes, we could have just left them outside. But realistically, that wouldn't have been good. Okay, put the cover on that. Uh, right, let's head on over to the road over here. And let's get this tractor repaired, because serviced, because... Yeah, that's not looking good. Alright, here we are. I shall... Lower this. And we shall return it. Mulcher. Return. Boom. And it's probably not something I'm gonna do again un unless I can get a huge one or I can set a worker to it. <laughs> Alright, let's get this tractor repaired. It's about time. We did buy it used after all, so... Yeah, it only makes sense. Uh, repair? 5,000? 4, you know what? That is fair. For a used machine, that is fair. Do we still have the trailer on? We do. Sweet. Alright, where do we sell the corn? Let's get the best place. It is currently decreasing, but I will tag it. And it is located... Oh! Oh, right next to us. Oh, that is amazing. That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy about that. That is great. Then I didn't even have to lease the trailer. I could have just emptied the ogre into that thing. Huh. Well, something to note for next time if one of the buy places is close. I mean, this close. All right. Right here? Yep, pretty much. Um... Hmm. Interesting place to have it delivered. Now I just need to get this trailer in a position where I can actually unload it. That's gonna be fun. Oh, it's one of these trailers. I hate these. This trailer is making me look bad because I've driven a trailer before. I can manage it just fine. But this one is one of those weird ones. I do not agree with this trailer. So it's gonna be done like this. There we go. How do I unload? Here we go. It is selling. So I'm doing something right. <laughs> All right, look at the money go up. 40% left, 30. I wonder how much we're actually going to make. 3,378. So basically, we didn't make anything. <laughs> we leased the header for 2,700 and we leased this trailer for a little bit as well. So, basically we didn't make anything, but we couldn't really do anything else. Because, well, we didn't have a silo. That silo is really something that is bothering me. But oh well, we couldn't really store it, so we had to sell it. Alright guys, so we got this field right here, seeded. We harvested the cornfield, we even mulched it. It still needs to get uh, cultivated. But that is going to sum up this episode. So in the next episode we're gonna start off in the same day, or in the same month I should say, October. And we will continue where we have left off. I do really love the rain. YouTube uh, compression probably doesn't though. Um, so yeah. That's that. <laughs> I do see the sun, though, so I think the sun is going to come out pretty soon. Well, I'm going to wait out the rain for a little bit. In the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Oh, I can close the doors. Sick. But I don't want that. I want the fresh air. Bye-bye.